Good morning, everyone. Match 13 of the Cricket World Cup, 1979 Cricket World Cup in Sri Lanka was played today on Brian Lama Cricket on PlayStation. It was England versus Holland. England knew that a win would guarantee them a quarter-final place. It would be the first team to qualify for the quarter-finals here in Sri Lanka. Match was with Lena Candy. Um, England won the toss and elected the bat on a hard, dry pitch. What's going on here, for goodness sake? On a hard, dry pitch. Um, I think I may have cut this up, actually. I think a, a bit more... Um, so I just need to press something. Um, yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, sorry, a little bit blurry, and obviously more outtakes now, because obviously um, I pressed the camera zoom in, so um, I don't know how this video is going to come out, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of weird, but, you know, it's all rough. Things. So, Ingle won the toss on a hard, dry surface and let to the bat first. Not a convincing performance from the bat, considering they got 324 for 5 against um, Bangladesh. They made only 265 for 6 against a very impressive Dutch side in terms of their bowling from their 50 overs. But let's have a look at the scorecard. Um, 20 for... Um, Mike Brearley, 15 for Jeffrey Boycott, 36 for Derek Randall, 13 for Graham Gooch. Um, at 107 for four, it was looking a little bit dodgy. But then a wonderful fifth wicket stand of 115 between Ian Botham, who was unlucky to be to edge onto his stunts when he hit 49 of 62 deliveries. But the first century of the World Cup goes to David Gower, 108 not out of 107 deliveries in what was a man of a match performance. The first century of this World Cup, it's taken 13 games, which is amazing, considering that we're playing on very good pitches. Six for Jeff Miller in his first appearance, and nine not out for Bob Taylor off 10 deliveries towards the end, 265 for six. The spinners, they played three left-arm spinners, 61 for two, 44 for two, and 56 for naught. The two fast bowlers, 48 for naught, and 48 for two, bowled quite impressively. Holland, for about 25 to 30 overs, were in touch. They were scoring at nearly four and over, similar to what England did, to be honest with you. A little bit of, um, similar to what England did, to be honest with you. 11, 32, 6, 8, 4, 40. They were 113 for four at one stage for about 29 overs. And then, all of a sudden, Bob Willis took two wickets and two balls. It was Ian Botham took two wickets and two balls and they folded from 113 to 140 tall out in 38.3 overs, um, 48, 0, 0, 0 and 6 not out. Um, they lost their final six wickets for just 29 runs. So England in the end, despite struggling for quite a, a bit of a match, sort of really came good. Um, 12 for 1 for Jeffrey Walcott, only his second international wicket in all in all cricket. Three for 28 for Ian Botham. Bowled aggressively. He's got six wickets in the tournament now. One for 22 for um, Jeff Miller. His first wicket of the tournament. Two for 19 for Chris Old. Bowled tightly. One for 14 for Mike Hendrick. Two. Eight wickets in three matches. He's level with Imran Khan at the top of the leading wicket takers list in this tournament. Bob Willis two for 45. But I didn't think he bowled well. I thought he bowled too short. And was obviously a little bit expensive. But... He took those two wickets and two balls in the end, but I don't think, I think he can go well better, to be honest with you. Um, that's the official summary of the match. Ingle won the toss on a hard, dry pitch, let to the bat first. 200 and, or hard, dusty pitch, I should say. Dry, dusty, same thing. They made 265 for six on their 50 overs. Um, Holland looked good for quite a while but they were all out for 142 England winning in the end by a convincing margin of 123 runs man of a match 108 of 100, 108 not out of 109 deliveries David Gower first century of this World Cup here in Sri Lanka and it does mean that England are the first team to qualify for World Cup quarterfinals in this tournament um, let's um, just um, let's have a look at the confirmation Confirmation, England up top. England can't really be called. Bangladesh can only get four points there. Run rate as well is um, a bit too good for the Dutch. So they are through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. It's now just a case on whether they'll win the group. Tomorrow's match, 
Rebel South and Eleven only a second match of a tournament against New Zealand side looking to bounce back from their disappointing defeat against um, the Australians where they bowled superbly but then folded for 144 or chasing 190. So that should be a match listed with um, potential intriguing things. Let's have a look at the star players. Well, you, as you've just seen, the star batsman for England certainly did not perform well in this game. Um, as you'll see, their averages have gone down quite drastically now. Okay, averages, I suppose, still. But, yeah, 130 average now, 43 for a Mike really 130 runs and three innings. It was a little bit weird, actually. It, 20 off 22 deliveries is usually quite gritty and slow. And, you know, he, he edged the ball and um, I played some really poor shots early on. No more so than Graham Gooch will be furious. 139 runs in three innings. His average now gone down to 46 in this match and the tournament. As for the bowlers, Chris Old, another two wickets, seven wickets in three matches. An average of 10. He's bowling terrifically well. Um, average of 21 for um, Chris... That was Chris Old, sorry. I think. I think I might have got my name wrong. Bob Willis, five wickets in three matches. An average of 21. He's been quite expensive. The last two games. Um, well, he weren't expensive the last game. He just didn't take a wicket. My apologies. And eight wickets for Hendrick in just... Mike Hendrick in just three matches. An average of 10. Leading wicket taker in this tournament. Alongside Imran Khan in Pakistan. So that is the wrap up for match 13 of the tournament. Um, the next match tomorrow. Will be New Zealand against Rebel South Korea 11. New Zealand hoping to bounce back from their disappointing defeat against um, Australia. Rebel South Korea 11. It's their first match in 10 days tomorrow. And they're hoping to bounce back from their disappointing defeat against Ireland. They were in control at one stage, chasing 262. Sorry, I keep looking down there. I'm just having a look at what I've written down. They end up losing that match by 44 runs in the end. So, until tomorrow's match report on match 14. In between New Zealand against Rebel South Korea 11. Um, this is me, Lawrence Howard, reporting on the 1975 Cricket World Cup in Sri Lanka, being played on Brian Isle Cricket on PlayStation. Until then, until tomorrow's match, bye bye.